What is up guys? This is Zach Campbell in Savannah, Georgia by popular demand. I'm here to see the Savannah Bananas. This team is wild. They're like the Harlem Globetrotters of baseball. So many shenanigans, a viral sensation online with more than 3 million followers on TikTok. They have their own weird rules. If a fan catches a foul ball, it counts as an out. So I'm rocking this shirt. And in just a bit, the players are gonna be doing rehearsals. The stadium, Grayson Stadium, is not open to the public, but the owner of the team, Jesse Cole, who, well, you can kinda of see him in the background wearing a yellow suit and the yellow top hat. He invited me to be here for a couple of games and do it up for YouTube, so got the early access. So, I mean, enough talking outside. Let's get in there and see what all this craziness is all about. What's up, Jim? I'm not gonna make you do it right now because a lot of you guys are shirtless, but this is what a digital looks like. Literally, like, you'll trip all the way on your stomach. And I want you to, like, look at the camera. Butt up. Give more of her. Give more of her. Give more of her. I would say bananas, the circle up around him. I need four guys, four, four smaller guys on hands and knees. They are. <laughs> What's up? Uh, yo, what's How up? are you? Good to see you. Likewise. Jackson Olsen, everybody. What's up? This is wild. It's crazy. Like, you see, you walked in and see guys in Santa hats doing a dance, and it's like... I, 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 I just walk in and I see 30 topless men dancing around on a baseball field, and I'm just like, what is going on? It's fun and all, oh my god. Are you gonna, you gotta catch a foul ball? For now. I was told don't catch one when the bananas are up. When the bananas are up, yeah, yeah. Everyone's so nice here, and it's like you can literally walk all the way on. Yeah. Where you on? You've been playing for the bananas for how long? Just started two weeks ago. Wow. Thank you, guys. I'm pretty sure the center field wall is like 420 feet. And with these balls also, they're not exactly juiced no, major league no, no. balls. I'm trying to get a rule where if you can roll the ball and hit the fan ball, it's a home run. It's, it's, it's so far. It's, it's so far. Okay, so batting practice is underway, and since there are no seats beyond the outfield walls, I have an alternate plan for catching baseballs during BP. Just excuse me for one second. This leaves nine or six seconds to go. Man, that is fun. This might be my favorite thing to do in just like a baseball setting, being out on a field for BP, chasing down balls. And no, these don't count for my collection. Only major league balls. But man, this is fun, getting a workout. It's only a little bit hot and humid today. Oh well. Behind your back and hook. Oh, I guess I should, huh? And that's a $500 fine if you catch a routine fly ball. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah. How are you telling me? Oh, take that. I'm sorry. I'm already $15. Oh, no, 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 no,
to. So I, I lived with uh, a group yeah. of friends from high school. That is the fungo that Coach Viro just hit me. Thanks for the warm welcome. Yeah, man, I tell you what, it's people like you, it's people like these players that bring the energy that make Grayson Stadium and Bayonets what it's all about. It truly is, right? Like, yeah. hey, we are, get on the field and have some fun with us, bring the enthusiasm and energy, add something to the party. It's, it's literally just a big, big, big fun circus. That's what it seems like, yeah. I, I could be on the field. All day, all night. How good are these lights? I want to be here at four in the morning. Chris, you good for that? Four in the morning. Lights are good. All right, bud. Have fun tonight. Appreciate you. Thank you. Can't wait for the game. Howard started. Remarkably. Well, I guess you never know who you might run into in Banana Land. Jonathan Papelbon making an appearance today, longtime MLB closer, so really cool to get to say hello to him. And just all kinds of other shenanigans still taking place throughout the afternoon. So we'll see what else happens over the next 10 or 20 minutes, and in just a bit, the player parade is going to take place outside the stadium. I heard that's epic. And like everything else happening today, I can't wait to check it out. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Baseball teams take notice and maybe take a page out of Jesse Cole's playbook. 
Jesse is the owner of the Savannah Bananas. He was the dude wearing that yellow suit and the yellow top hat. I mean, making it interactive, getting the players out here. I'm not sure if uh, Mike Trout or, you know, guys like A-Rod and Jeter would have liked to be out here with fans, but hey, Papelbon was out here. This is what it's all about, man. I am just so thrilled to be here and to bring you this video. I mean, look at this, swing around this way. The line is still wrapping around. I mean, this is the biggest pregame crowd I have seen this year, and I've been to 26 Major League Baseball stadiums, so. Yeah, I think we should probably head back inside. It's about, I don't even know what time it is right now. 5.45. So it's still more than an hour until this game begins. This is like a whole day of craziness. So, all right, back inside we go. Wow. Are you exactly Yeah.
after just one inning. First of all, the top of the first took two minutes. Love the dog out there who's retrieving the bats. We saw that dog earlier on the field behind home plate. And another rule is that each inning is kind of like its own game. So that RBI single just now that broke the scoreless tie, that was like a walk-off hit to end the first. So the inning ended, they're switching it up, and now the party animals, which is the visiting team, is coming up to bat. So we have some babies doing a crawling contest. Chris, get a shot of that. This is just wild. Sorry performance, but it was fun. And top of the second, getting started, got my glove ready. It's rented out for a private event. So, 
I mean, I feel like I need a 10-person camera crew to capture everything. Chris, doing a great job behind the lens. So, what time is it? I don't know, we probably have like... 7.50? Yeah, so we still, we're not even quite halfway through right now, and already so much has happened. Love it. Oh, Jackson. just see. Sup, 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 Pat! Nobody's taking me deep. Dad, say cheese! Cheese! <laughs> so that really is your dad? Yes, sir. I'm with baseball royalty here in the stands. Yo, Pap, how hard can you still bring it? I'm gonna try to hit at least 90, man. Nice! Hold on, Jimmy's got it.
Ben Papelbon, MLB legend, World Series champion, is going in to pitch in this game. How cool is that? I'm going back up to my seat here so that in case someone hits a foul ball, I can catch it. I have this staircase to work with. I got this walkway on the party deck and I can even go up the stairs. So, come on, Pap. Mr. Papelbon was shaky in the final inning. He had a hard time throwing strikes, and like I said earlier, there are no walks in banana balls. So when a pitcher throws four balls to the batter, that guy can actually take off running and keep going until every player in the field has touched the ball. So of course, that leads to all kinds of chaos. And for Papelbon in particular, it led to a run scoring and the game being tied. But the bananas got something going in the bottom half of the inning. They got a guy on base, and then there was a long drive over the outfielders' heads that brought that runner around to walk this thing off and make Papelbon a winner. And look, I've been saying all day how big of a party atmosphere it is at this stadium, and that was showcased with this very exciting win. And for me, well, the action kept going after that thanks to a couple of bat boys. A young man named Blake chucked me a ball after the game, and then his brother named Heath padded my total with another one, so that was really nice of them to hook me up. I would not have wanted to get a big fat zero on this day here at Grayson Stadium. Of course, I was hoping to catch a foul ball, and there were a couple of close ones, but just couldn't make a play. And Fenway Chris, is that thunder I'm hearing? That is lightning and thunder behind you, my so friend. We and we are got metal benches around Probably us. get going soon. Yeah. But just to wrap this up, first of all, a huge thanks to the Savannah Bananas for inviting us here and to owner Jesse Cole in particular. He is the man. It is incredible <laughs> what he and his entire team here has created. I mean, there was nothing and now there is some, I mean, he just, he invented this out of thin air and I really, really appreciate that. So this was amazing. These baseballs, by the way, do not count for my lifetime total of major league balls, which by the way, is 12,003, uh, but still fun to get them. Tomorrow, we will be back here again for one more Bananas video, so stay tuned. Chris behind the camera, thank you. You're welcome. He put up with me all day. It was a very long day, so hot and humid, so he gets a huge assist for this. And guys, thank you as always for watching. Stay tuned for more craziness coming up next. Oh boy, this rain is bananas! Oh brother.